guys, so I was at a pawn shop the other day and I found this guy. It's a AT2020 condenser mic, USB version. Uh, I got it for like 10 bucks, so pretty excited about that. So I bought a windscreen on it and I bought a shock mount and arm thing. So we're gonna see if we can improve the audio here a bit. Uh, so before I do that, I need to fix the USB ports on the iMac because the iMac is in shambles right now. So we're gonna be permanently attaching the screen, fixing the USB ports, and then we're gonna see if we can get some better audio. So for the most part, this blue tack stuff has just not worked. Um, it's worked on this board here, that's nice and tight. Uh, but like the control board here just won't stay on. The pegs to hold the corners in just aren't staying on. We're just gonna pull all this off, hot glue these guys on, and then once we've done that, we're gonna hot glue the screen in. So we've done that. I've got some USB extension cords that we're gonna pair up and put into the USB ports over here on the side. So we actually have USB external. We're gonna fix this gap while we're in here today and get that all sitting nice and flat. And uh, this guy will be pretty much done at that point. Basically all I did was make sure all the connections are plugged in and then hot glue it on the bottom, not the wires themselves, just so it doesn't move anymore. Uh, and that should be good enough. So let's go ahead and cancel this and get rebooted or get shut down so we can uh, get this back together. Alright, so let's get this base off of here. Let's see what we can do about getting this thing shut fixing this other piece, the, um, the USB. So that's a problem. So we're going to take this whole metal piece off. I think I have to take a lot more off to get to the metal piece, I don't remember. We can try and do it without taking all that off, but I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm not sure what this tape here is for. I know what that tape's for. That tape's keep you from cutting yourself. Okay, so there's everything inside there. Let's see if we can clean that up a little bit while we're in here. Probably take this guy off, it's not needed anymore. A little more clearance. And this is where we're going to be going in with the uh, USB cables. cables to get them to fit and we'll get to that in just a minute. Alright so to fix the issue of the depth here we're going to pull this guy off and stick on one of these guys which I'm a big fan of if you guys haven't seen these before I used them in my uh, game cabinet video uh, which you can check out in the corner and then I'll stick a link in the description for an Amazon link so if you guys are interested in these things, they're pretty damn cool. So we're gonna go that, and then if we put this whole thing sideways, it 
should give us enough clearance to get this thing shut. So we're worried about vertical height at this point. Maybe get up with that. This guy in here. I think that should get us there. So if you guys remember this, we'll come back to that. But I think that plan should work. So what we need to do now is get these ports to work. So we're going to stack them and get them to come out here on the USB. So you can see they're a little bit too tall. So what we're going to do to get these guys to fit here is not catch my table on fire. So these guys both have this big shroud around them. Basically we're just going to go in and cut away from that shroud and see if we can skish them closer together. So, handy dandy razor blade knife. We want the nubs at the top, I'm not sure why, that's just how I'm gonna do it. I don't actually know which way is properly right side up, but that's how I'm gonna hook them up, so. If it's wrong, it's wrong. The only person who uses this thing's me. As long as they're the same shouldn't bother me too much. Let's see what I do this without cutting into my finger too. So that would be a bad idea. This is incredibly dangerous. I highly do not recommend this. Buy the right tools, guys. Because any one little slip, and I have to go to the hospital. Really don't want to go to the hospital today. It would get me out of going to a baby shower, but I don't really mind baby showers. I like babies. Okay. So basically what we're trying to do is stay as close as we can to the port without cutting into the wiring. So I think that's probably as good as we're gonna get on this guy. So let's see if shaving the one down was enough to get it to fit. It's pretty close. Let's see if we can get two devices in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to hot glue these two together to make one solid unit and we're going to hot glue this unit into there. So I want to do this as far away from the ends as possible so that we don't run into any issues with the, the hot glue running into the ports themselves. So we're going to do it back here on the shroud a little bit just to get it started. That should be enough to keep them together. And then we'll go around it again with hot glue once we get it into the port here. And basically, you still see me? What we're doing here is taking this block into the port. It's going to be a little difficult to line up, so we're going to go ahead and stick a thumb drive on the top of it, on the top one. That seems to be the one that's more of a difficult to align. <clears throat> I should probably use this. So I can still put it flat-ish. Once we've got it squared up, kind of tack it in place. Check it. Looks pretty good. So now we uh, make it so. Start on it there. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to let that cool off, then we're going to add a little more and let that cool off, and add a little more and let that cool off. So we've got a good hunk of glue there holding this thing in. That way it doesn't have any room to give. We can put some pressure on it and make sure it's secure. But that's a good start. Looks like it's dry, so we're going to... You don't want to add too much at once. You should add too much at once. 
make what you've got in there already let go. We definitely don't want to do that. Uh, I'm going to do this, and then once it's done, I'll come back. Alright, so i got this guy all glued up. There's tons and tons and tons of hot glue on there to keep it in place. So let's hope that does the job. It seems pretty sturdy, but it's not 100% dry yet, so let's be careful with it and, and cross our fingers. I'm not 100% sure I can get this back in without screwing something up, though, so we'll see what happens because of the way this thing hooks in. Yeah, it's probably as good as it's gonna get. It's not great, but it's not horrible either. Now I just gotta make all this stuff fit inside the shell, right? Super easy, right? for now until we can get a replacement screen for the one I busted here I think we're all done let's make sure it still works well that's good I didn't have to move it hit the button it's always a good sign it's just me that crack get a lot worse Whew, ow so I just sat my arm on the hot glue gun it's not called Smart Projects, guys. So let's see if it detected my keyboard. Okay, so that USB port's working. taking a while. So we're going to install Audacity because I hear that's a good audio recording program. And while that's installing we'll get this microphone set up. Alright so we got that set up over there so that's good. Um, looks like Audacity installed properly. Not 100% sure to use this so I might have to watch some tutorials. But I'm going to get this guy set up now, so let me adjust the camera because you're not going to be able to see where it's going since it's going over there, which you can't normally see anyway. So let me adjust that and so you guys can see what the hell I'm doing. So it's right there. So I may pull it in a little bit, like there, so I think that'll still be off camera, but you'll be able to hear me pretty well. So let's, uh, we'll do some test recordings and see what it sounds like once I get it tuned up. 
I'll give you guys a uh, camera mic versus high quality mic and we'll go from there. Alright, so we got the new mic set up. Uh, so I'm going to do a little bit of editing here. So this is the mic on the camera itself. Um, you can probably hear a little bit of clicking from the autofocus in the camera itself. It's not too great. Um, and then this is the new microphone we just set up. Uh, so we're going to see how that sounds. Um, so let me know what you guys like better. If I need to do any more adjustments on the microphone. I do know that the closer I get it to my face, the better it sounds. But at the same time, I don't want the microphone in the shot. And I can't justifiably move it around as much as I would like to. Uh, I've done some testing. It sounds about the same volume from when I'm talking to you guys here versus here with its current position. So we're going to see how it works. And we'll go from there. But we're more or less done with the iMac at this point. So other than buying a new replacement screen, uh, which is quite a ways off. It's very low on my priority list. Um, maybe building a new internal rig entirely. Again, far in the future. It's not anything I'm about to do list currently. So, so yeah, we're more or less done at this point. So uh, that's going to be the end of this one. Hit that like button, get subscribed. See you in the next one.